Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Review The Bear Season 2, Episode 2 Pasta FX series, The Bear opens the second episode of the second season, Pasta, showing the progress that the restaurant has made with the construction and new interior design. Following the previous episode, The Bear, it is visible to see that they're just starting with the redesigning. With some new roles in place, who's in charge of what brings stress to the chefs. This new change adds to them having tension. There are only 12 weeks left before opening day. Sydney, A.O. Ediberi, discusses that both chefs, Tina, Lisa Colenzayas, and Ebrahim, Ebra, Edwin Lee Gibson, should go to culinary school while the redesigning is going on so that they will be more skilled when they open the bear back up. With Tina and Ebra going to culinary school, it brings more a storyline to the two characters. Luckily for them, they will be getting paid because it is built into the budget. This episode will give the viewers more understanding of the two chefs and figure out what they could bring to the table. Tina encourages Ebrahim to take the classes and he agrees. The two of them have worked alongside each other for a long time, so there's no doubt that they have a supportive relationship, at work and possibly in their personal lives. Ebra has a hard time getting comfortable at culinary school, trying his best to stay focused and do what he can. Even though he may be struggling with this new environment and role, he will not give up. The two main female roles are given more screen time in this episode, which will surely be expected in all future episodes moving forward. Sugar, Abby Elliott, reveals that she is pregnant but has yet to tell anyone. She is now working full-time at the restaurant as a project manager. While everyone is doing their own thing, Sugar is working on getting the clogged toilet fixed. Cindy mentioned to Carmi, Jeremy Allen White, that her father wasn't very supportive of her working at the Bear, which Carmi thinks is mostly because she didn't get paid that well. Cindy meets with her father, Emmanuel Robert Townsend, at a diner for dinner, and he tells her about his father, mentioning that he was a mechanic. Emmanuel also voices his concerns about her job. While she was telling him about how they were finishing the menu, she seemed to be enthusiastic about how things were progressing. He advises her that she should have a backup plan, worrying that her career would be hard to keep up. While Carmi is at the store, he runs into someone from his past. Claire, Molly Gordon, and Carmi were once a couple. As they stand there, talking about what is currently going on in their lives, he is shocked to learn that she remembers the name of the restaurant. He tells her that he was opening a restaurant and she says, you're doing the thing. He didn't know what she was exactly talking about, but in this scene, Claire said something that sparked something between the two of them. Claire tells him that she loves the name and when he questions her about how she remembers the name, she says, because you're the bear and I remember you. At that moment, it wouldn't be hard to miss that there is going to be something moving forward between them. Whether it is the two of them getting back together or becoming friends. Claire gets Carmi's contact information from him as viewers await to see what ends up happening between them. Overall, this episode was a good one, but some things are different. This episode showed less of Carmi and more of everyone else. Of course, the others should be shown more in scenes, it felt like Carmi was pushed to the back of the episode, having only a few scenes. Only two or three of the scenes with Carmi seem to be important for viewers to remember for the next episodes ahead. More problems have been added to the equation, which makes things harder for everyone. They just can't catch a break, can they? If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.